Hey, how's it going? This is Will with Battleborn Batteries. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Magnum inverter charger with the Battleborn Batteries. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So first thing you're going to need to do is just check the instruction manual. It'll tell you exactly how to wire up all of your AC input, AC output, everything like that. It's really simple. Um, after that, you're going to go ahead and grab your cable. For this demonstration, we're going to be using 4-gauge. This is our 4-foot kit. You can see it on our website. Um, Go ahead and loosen up your positive negative studs on the inverter charger itself. I always start with the side that doesn't have any power in it. Um, that way I don't have to worry about live wires being anywhere and there's really no danger involved at this point. So these are going to take a 13 millimeter to, to tighten down. Okay. Go ahead and connect them to the battery itself. Now, when you complete the circuit with the battery, there's gonna be a pop as you hook it up. It's expected. I'm still probably going to jump just because. Close that. wrenches a little bit. So once that's all hooked up, we kind of cheated and had this wired in beforehand, that way we're ready to go. Um, so go ahead and just plug it in. Okay. Now this inverter charger works great with most batteries. For it to get the absolute best performance with our battery, we suggest you get the added on remote. Uh, makes it super easy to go in and set specific charge parameters and yeah, get it working great with our batteries. So it's color coded, make it easy for you. Put blue into blue, plug it the other end into the remote itself. All right, and you'll see it light up just like that. So it's gonna go ahead and go through a little startup setup thing. Do, do, do. All right, so then we're just gonna hit setup. We're going to go to, where is it? It's gonna be battery type. Let's see if I can find it right there. This is also a button, so go ahead and hit that. Type is gonna be custom. It's gonna take you to your absorption. So we set it at 14.4. Um, at that point, the battery's very full, full 100%. Uh, your float, oops. So go ahead and hit the center button again, take you to your float voltage. Anything below 13.6 is acceptable. So we go ahead and put that 13.6 center button once more, and that's gonna be your equalization. For this, basically turn it as low as you can. Um, lowest we can get it is 14.5. That'll work just fine for our batteries. That's it, thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your day.